Welcome users, we are going to learn the query designing techniques using open office base application. You are watching the screen where the options to create the queries are available. See <coughs> the three methods are available in open office the wizard option design view and sql format these are the provisions available i use the wizard method to create the query see i have selected all the fields which i have created in the table i have selected a few fields for practice purpose here i define the sharding option and you can leave it uh, in the default form need not change it unless you are familiar in this part see the fields we have selected along with the labels are displayed here you can fix the name for your query identification of the query's name are very important you can in the future you can use it for generating reports you may create many queries so individualization of the query is very important so you are observing the output these are the three records and three fields have been extracted from the table see the final part you are watching you are watching the design view see we, we used the wizard to create the query you are observing it in the design mode see for sample purpose i include one more field now i run the query see already we had three fields now one more field is included in the table like that you can define your own fields whatever the fields you want to extract from the table it can be structured in this way let us observe how to design the query using the design view see this will help you to add the fields as per your demands in the query two fields i have selected in this query here you have to fix the name for this query already we have created one query don't forget so one more query i am going to create i fix the name for this query see the two queries so far we have created if i run the query yeah, this uh, is the output the two fields and three records and one more option of course this is the toughest part where the beginners may feel the difficulties of course this is not for the beginners if you are well versed in the sql commands you can use this option in the real time database designers often use the queries to access and retrieve the data but unless you are aware of the sql commands it can be used to retrieve the data without committing mistakes you need to be strong in this part i write a sample sql command to retrieve some data 
since sql is case sensitive in open office if you commit any errors in the caps small and punctuations it will uh, give the syntax error it won't produce the output see the three records along with the three fields have been retrieved using the sql query in this way we can extract the data from the table but you need to practice uh, query drafting needs skills first you must understand what are the various commands available your skill commands need to be learned first then you can go on by one see i had validations using the query now i am going to extract limited number of let us see i have extracted only one record which has the id 1 see this is id wise extraction i mean access and number in this context it should be called as access and number see one more access and number i have used rendered so depends on that the validations can be then it, uh, it helps to manipulate your data in any of the format some more examples i can show you we can group or the order everything is possible see now i am ordering the data see actually the records are available in the alphabetical order that means an ascending order so if you apply the command the, you won't find any change now i reverse the process see you are observing the records in descending form like that you can apply various commands which are available in sql that may help you for data manipulation if you do not have the data entry form to retrieve the data if you don't have any reports you can use sql to pick up the data directly from the table but you need to use it with more caution see some records cannot be viewed because of the syntax error as i said if you commit any errors it will not give the output so this kind of errors for some your observation i commit some mistakes it won't let me to generate the output now the errors are fixed you are watching the output because they are not predefined the commands in real time we have to write it in the commercial and ready made applications all the functions are predefined but whenever you click the command button some codes are running behind the buttons do not forget it here you are observing the real time programs see see if you change the publisher it will pick up the related data from the table you can practice the queries need to be practiced if you practice again and again it will be get the familiarity you can get the skills when you develop your practice again and again see the simple aggregate function that helps to sum the total value of the documents 
there are a lot of functions available for your observation purpose i have applied a few queries once you go through it you may be well versed in this part do not forget practice makes you the best wish you all the best